Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRob447 back at it again with some NCAA Football 14 Buffalo Bulls Dynasty. And you guys see it's the off season now. I really didn't get the actual off season, but I'm just basically showing you what they show you in the off season. This is our schedule, and our schedule is pretty pretty hard to be honest. Pretty hard. Uh, we're in the American, so there's harder teams. Also, we have two ranked opponents, the uh, Arizona and uh, Minnesota, but we do have a FCS opponent because you know I wanted to make the I wanted to make the you know non conference schedule a little easy well not easy but you know I want to give my guys a rest all right and you guys see who's gonna be the starting quarterback yes it is gonna be Colin Michael you guys don't really hear about him you guys didn't really hear about him much last year because I believe he did redshirt Jordan Johnson as you guys know will be the running back this season he's gonna have a big year i i can feel it i can feel it matt siebert is going to be the fullback ron willoughby will be your first wide receiver marks mcgill jacob martinez jr zarzara you guys already know and i don't know why mason shrek's there he's gonna be our starting tight end but uh we're gonna change that around because yeah i don't know why that's there and also uh we're not going to be passing to our tight end that much this season. We're basically going to go into the shotgun a lot more because I feel we can, you know, we could spread the field now. Now that we have our wide receivers even better, I feel like we can do that. And we do have the personnel to do that. So that's what I definitely want to do. I do want to run some read options because Colin Michael, he's pretty fast for a quarterback. So I might go ahead and do that. Our offensive line is decent. I mean, it's nothing great. We got a lot of dudes in the 60s. So it's, it, you really, I can't really brag about that. But Matt. Peresi, man, he's pretty good. Uh, senior, we're gonna miss him next year. Same thing with Waylon Fink. I think he might have been a uh, linebacker last year. I don't know. I think I might have changed his position. And Smeckle Davis, those are gonna be our two primary defensive tackles. Left outside linebacker, you guys already know Jared Franklin. He's only a junior and he's pretty darn good. A 77 rating. Uh, Okizi Alozi, he didn't have a lot of tackles last year, but he's gonna be the man in the middle this year. And as for right outside, Kareel Threat, you guys know him already. So he's going to be putting up some big numbers. Boise, Ross, Roy Williamson, and Terrence Wilson. Uh, those three guys are definitely going to help out our secondary. They were here last year. And they did pretty good. Same thing with uh, uh, Andrews, Debo. He's pretty good. And also Brandon Berry. I mean, we have a lot of old guys. But you guys, look at um, Roy Williamson. I mean, Chris Williamson, whatever his name is. He's only a junior, so the sky's the limit for that kid. And our partner and kicker aren't that great. Our kicker can't kick over 45 yards. He can't. He really can't. And Ron Willoughby is going to be taking back kicks. And JT Burgess, our true freshman, will be taking back the punts this year. He's a speedster. Okay? And as for our specialist, is Terrence Jones. He, he has no power. He's only a true freshman. But, uh, so definitely sky's the limit for him as well. He's at 81, so he can definitely improve. But, you know, we have a lot of freshmen on this team. I didn't redshirt a lot of people, as you guys saw. And the recruiting class, I think we're going to look at the recruiting class next. Are we? Are we? Yes, we are. Uh, the recording class I'm looking at, we basically need a linebacker, we need a wide receiver, a tight end, and a QB, and we basically filled up all those spots. Now, Darnell Stewart, you guys see, we're going to leave with him, Ryan Hobart, 6'8", 270, good God, that's huge. Uh, Chad Dolan, we really need him. Basically, I really need to get some good pieces because I do want this team to improve. We're in the American. My main goal is to, after this five year, after five years is up, maybe move on to the ACC or I don't know. Because I felt that there was no point in me going to the Conference USA because uh, that would have prolonged things. I really do want to get in the ACC and like just keep on improving the team, keep on challenging ourselves because I believe that we will have the team in five years that could go the distance. Now, the difference between this game and NCAA basketball is the uh, recruiting is not as easy. It's pretty hard to keep track. Every week you gotta go in and change the points. And NCAA basketball tennis, mad, it's mad easy. And you guys have said that in the comments. I don't know why, but it just is. It really just is. And I can't blame. I I can't really blame the developers because I believe they made the game in 2000. 
nine. So it's been a five year gap between those two games. So we can't really say something. And all the and you guys see those are pipeline states. Now New York, Pennsylvania, Michigan. We might lose out on Ohio next year. Hmm, I don't know. I don't want to lose out on any of our pipelines because that gives us a recruiting edge. All right, as you guys know, if you do play this game, you know that. So I'm just looking at team needs. You guys see what we need. We're going to miss three wide receivers as our seniors, but I'm trying to get a... Uh, yeah, and I'm talking about uh, Ron Willoughby, Marcus McGill, and Malcolm Robinson. Jacob Martinez is going to be back next year. Same thing with J.R. Zazara. And JT Bar Burgess, I'm going to try to get him some uh, catches because I do want him to improve. I want him to get better. And I believe I did redshirt one of our wide receivers. JT, he was pretty good, so I kept him in the rotation. So that's just that. And honestly, if I had to give a prediction with our schedule, I would say we gonna lose set we're gonna lose three games we're gonna lose three games i believe we might lose three games arizona that's gonna be a tough one all right and i also bumped up the defensive difficulty so i, I I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys last year i was playing on uh varsity this time i changed it to all american i always had the offensive difficulty to all american so hey if it gets too easy maybe i would upgrade it to heisman but i don't play any game that much to upgrade to the highest difficulty because I play a bunch of games and you guys know that so that's why it's pretty hard for me to bump up difficulty and if Mr. PJ Scott if you're watching the reason why I couldn't play you today was because my internet connection is so bad and there is your Heisman watch Nick Wilson Samaje Perrine you guys know him well Leonard Fournette Ezekiel Elliott he, he could have went to the draft and Bo Scarborough whatever Anyway, it's been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.